All right, friends, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to continue with SQLite and Python and continue with SQLite in general. If you're new to this whole series, they should all be in a playlist. You can go back from the very beginning up into this point, And maybe by the time you're watching, there's future videos that you can continue watching. Specifically today, we're going to create a table in our SQLite database using Python. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future you might find useful or at least interesting and we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. You guys have been killing it. And if you're watching in the future, I don't know how many subscribers I will have. Hopefully it's 100 million, because <laughs> that's pretty realistic. Um, but yeah, in the last video, we demonstrated how to create a brand new SQLite database in Python and how to connect to an existing database. And then we also selected from a table, executed that SQL statement and printed out the results. So just like before, the first couple lines are going to be the same. We're going to import SQLite 3. This is the library that comes with Python that allows us to connect to SQLite databases and do things with it. We're going to create a connection to an existing SQLite database file. So this test.db, that's the one we've been using in all of our videos thus far. We create a cursor, which is just a mechanism of navigating through and executing different statements on our SQLite database and then our SQL statement. So our SQL statements really where things are going to change because we're going to use a create table SQL statement to do just that, create the table. And so the syntax for creating a table, because when we created a table in a previous video, we used the DB browser for SQLite GUI tool. We never really had to worry about the syntax and writing the SQL, but the syntax is pretty easy. It's create table and then whatever our table name is going to be. I was thinking of a good example that we can do, and I couldn't think of anything better than a cars table, which is just gonna list and store a bunch of different cars, as you would imagine. And then inside of parentheses are going to be all of our columns of this cars table. And I'm gonna turn this SQLite statement using three quotes, open and closing, just so it's a multi-line string, because I think it'll look better being multi-line. So create table cars, and if you don't remember what all data types there are in SQLite, there aren't many. Here they are, null, which is pretty self-explanatory, and integer, real, text, and blob. So I think our very first column is just going to be the ID, and this is going to be an integer. And while we're at it, let's just make this our primary key and auto increment, meaning whenever something gets inserted into this specific table, uh, the ID is just going to increment sequentially, and we don't have to worry about keeping track of what should the next ID be. For the next column, let's just call it manufacturer. Hopefully I spell this right. That'd be embarrassing, I guess, if I didn't. Manufacturer, I think that's how you spell it. If not, uh, don't flame me in the comments. This is going to be text and nothing more than that. And then maybe model, which is also going to be text. And then just for fun, uh, how about like number of doors? I don't know. I'm kind of running out of ideas here. And that's going to be an integer. So if it's a sedan, it'll have four doors. If it's a coupe, it'll have two doors. Okay, so here's our table, cars. We have four different columns in this table and the rest of it's going to probably be the same here except for the results and looping through the results. But we're going to just execute that SQL statement and then let's open up the database after in our database browser GUI tool just to ensure that this table is created. So let's go ahead and run this. Pi SQLite, I called this script file. It's pretty quick. And if we go to open this up in our tool, we can see in tables here, there's a new table called cars. If we expand this, we can see all of the different columns of this table, ID, primary key, auto increment, manufacturer, model, and number of doors. And if we go to browse the data, as you would probably imagine, there's nothing in this table. Now notice what happens if I go to run this again. And actually first, I'm going to close this database in the DB browser and then try to run this again. So we get an exception, it says table cars already exists. And so if you give someone a script and you say, hey, go ahead and run this to create this table, but you're not entirely sure if they ran it multiple times by mistake and you don't want them to get an error, what you can do in your SQL is right after table, 
you can write if not exists. So if this table does not exist, this table cars, it will go ahead and create that table. And if it does exist, it'll go ahead and ignore this whole SQL statement basically. So now if we run this again, we're not gonna get an error, but it's also not going to do anything because that table already exists. And so what I wanna do, I wanna comment all of this out and I wanna show you how do I get rid of a table after it's created. Maybe I decide this car's table stupid, I no longer want it, I don't care to collect car information. So I'm going to comment this out and let's create a new SQL statement. And it's going to be pretty simple, drop table cars. So the only part of this you're ever really gonna change is this part right here because you're describing what table do I want to end up getting rid of. So if we run this and we go to open this database in the GUI, I go to database structure. There's no longer a cars table because it has been dropped. All right, so hopefully that helped. If you're curious, how do I create a table and SQLite in Python? In the next video, we'll go ahead and update and delete some data in Python. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in that future video. And as always, take care.